For the non-traditional four-view cardiac exam, we're going to start off by imaging in our parasternal windows. Our parasternal windows will be found by looking and placing the probe immediately lateral towards the sternum, somewhere between the second and fifth intercostal space here. We're going to start off in a parasternal long axis view with the marker dot pointed towards the patient's right shoulder. After we've obtained our parasternal long axis view, we'll be ready for our parasternal short axis view. To obtain this, we're going to keep the probe in the same location. We're just going to rotate 90 degrees so that we're pointed towards the patient's right hip. That will be our parasternal short axis view orientation. Next, we'll be ready for our subcostal windows. For our subcostal windows, we're going to place the transducer immediately inferior to the xiphoid process. Again, the marker dot is going to be pointed towards the patient's right flank. We're going to start off in our parasternal long axis view. For the parasternal long axis view, we're going to place the transducer immediately lateral towards the sternum with the marker dot aimed towards the patient's right shoulder. In this orientation, we're going to move the transducer so that we can see the right ventricle, the aortic root, the left atrium, the left ventricle, and the anterior leaflet of the mitral valve. Once we have obtained a satisfactory parasternal long axis view, we're going to move towards the parasternal short axis view. We will do this by rotating the transducer towards the patient's right hip. In this orientation, we're going to fan the transducer up and down, looking at the apex, the mid portion of the left ventricle, the mitral valve, and up towards the base of the heart. Next, we will image our subcostal four chamber view. To do this, we're going to put the transducer immediately underneath the xiphoid process. We will hold the probe almost flat against the abdominal wall and the marker dot is going to be directed towards the patient's right flank, the same as it was directed for the apical four chamber view. Here, we're using the liver as our window to see into the heart. Here, we will identify the right ventricle, the right atrium, the left ventricle, the left atrium. We'll pay particular attention to the pericardial sac, looking for any pericardial fluid that may be visible or detectable in this orientation.